Trump administration has a long-standing pattern of taking moves against international organizations, such as the International Criminal Court, uh, the World Health Organization, or the UN Human Rights Council. But it appears that one international organization, the World Anti-Doping Agency, uh, is capable of retaliating if the United States takes measures against it. We've been approached by a number of governments of the world that were shocked with the threats from the US government. These governments want us to consider an amendment to the compliance standard, meaning that non-payment by a government of its WADA contribution could lead directly to being declared non-compliant with the World Anti-Doping Code. Inevitably, this could have serious repercussions for athletes, including their participation in major international sporting events. This comes after the June White House Drug Control Policy Report, which indicates that the United States has taken measures against WADA, working to defund the organization. For years, the United States has provided the World Anti-Doping Agency with millions of taxpayers' dollars in annual dues, far more than any other nation in the world. We do so with an expectation that WADA will operate in a transparent, accountable and independent manner that is above all else fair to athletes. They deserve a fair shake and the WADA commitment to guaranteeing competition on level playing field. Although these threats were not made publicly, we've already heard the U.S. Olympic Committee, as well as the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, speak up against any proposal. Threatening U.S. athletes over this is one of the most terrible things I've ever seen from WADA. Apparently non-payment is as serious as systemic doping. Where's the rule that says this? And is it applied to everyone? To threaten one country's athletes over WADA's failed governance model is pretty remarkable and disappointing. WADA is very threatened and rattled, but to illegally threaten U.S. athletes is shameful. The U.S. Anti-Doping Agency says these proposals are simply illegal. The United States cannot be excluded as in the only country to be locked out simply because of this move to defund. Uh, so it appears that the policy of the White House, uh, in which they defund international organizations that don't suit the United States, uh, will continue. And it appears, at this moment, retaliation will not be taking place. If you want to be a member of a sports club uh, or a gym, you have to pay to take part. You can't just walk in and say, listen, I'm the biggest and the baddest on the planet. You know, give it to me for free. It doesn't happen like that. Um, they do have money. And one thing that I will say about US anti-doping is that they are they are being cut out. They are seen as kind of um, you know insignificant in US sports because remember these guys do not test the NFL, the NHL, the MLB or NBA or even any of the college sports overlooked by the NAIA and the NCAA. So this is it's a very serious matter, and you know what. It's, it's, it's the opening shots being fired ahead of the Olympics because, of course, the U.S. anti-doping, they have been caught so badly and have really let themselves down by refusing to test athletes during lockdown. And right after lockdown, we saw these amazing world records being broken and national records and personal bests being broken by athletes who, Travis Tiger said, were not training during lockdown. So maybe the rest has done them well, but this is just the opening volley in a very, very nasty war.